Hey ladies, so guess who's six months? Six months with my DIY micro locks. And you guys just saw some photos of my journey. I'm sorry, I should be more intentional about taking pictures and I'm gonna do better. Let me, this is my hair dirty and needing to be dyed. So I'm gonna show you my hair and then I'm going to uh, braid and band the front. I don't braid and band the back anymore because it's pretty much locked. This It doesn't unravel. And then I'm going to take a shower and show you my hair wet and stiff wear. <laughs> stiff wear! Alright, so I am about to get in the shower and wash my hair, but I just want to show you guys, this is all I do now for braiding and banding. The front of my hair is a little bit looser texture than the back, and so the ends are still twists that can unravel. But the back of my hair, uh, it's all type 4B, except for like a little patch in the front. But the um, back has a super tight coil, and so it's more prone to... Um, lock and I you know I, I really believe it has not like super mature locks but I've been doing this partial braiding and banding for a couple months now all right so I just finished washing my hair stiff wear <laughs> um when it dries I still have loose ends um when it dries I'm pretty sure it will shrink up a little more than this if I just leave it out to air dry uh, see, I have church tonight. I I might leave it out to air dry. Just pull the ponytail. But anyway, um, usually on wash day, I will add two things to my hair: uh, leave-in conditioner. My favorite is Kinky Curly Now Today, and some oil. Which I did get a better oil bottle, so I'll throw this one out once I finish this. Um, I'm gonna dye my hair tomorrow, but even I'm gonna dye my hair tomorrow, I think. I'm still gonna add this stuff to my hair because you know tomorrow I won't be actually like washing my hair with shampoo. I'll just put the dye on and rinse it out. So a little extra moisture won't hurt it, especially on dye day. But you guys can see in six months, uh, I still got like some of that curly action. I haven't been styling and stretching my hair as much. And so that might be another reason for the curliness. Uh, got a lot of these distressed locks all right so a lot of people on youtube have talked about how their locks uh micro locks or sister locks look dull um they don't want to dye their hair because they don't want to use permanent dye uh permanent color is it sometimes affects the texture of one's hair can cause dryness damage etc i am using a semi-permanent hair dye you guys saw it's a box dye I picked up at Kroger. It says the ingredients are 90% natural, but who knows what the 10%, the remaining 10% are. Anyway, um, so what I've noticed is uh, when I dye my hair black, it has more of a sheen, uh, more of a moisturized, uh, soft look, which I prefer to the dull color if I just leave my natural hair. Plus... I have a lot of gray hair in the front of my head. I have a patch, which would be extremely um, strong and striking or noticeable if I didn't dye my hair. Um, so that's just something I, I really, I haven't started. I didn't dye my hair until I locked it because it was always covered up with wigs or crochet styles or braids or something. So, um, so yeah, if you know, if you don't want to dye your hair with permanent dye, that's understandable. I don't think I've ever put permanent dye in my hair. But these semi-permanents, they don't last forever. But they really do help if you've got that uh, dull look going on. Or if you have unwanted gray. You'll see me um, after I get it all in. And uh, braid and band the front. Or twist and band, I think I did. Um, you'll see me pay more attention to the front of my hairline. Because that's really where the gray is. So I think I've already said it in this video, but I don't braid and bend my forehead anymore. It's not necessary in the back. The back is pretty much locked. 
and the next clip will be of me I once my hair has been dyed and is looking better all right so the lighting in my bathroom is not the best but you can definitely see the difference in my hair before I dyed it and here um, notice how short my hair is in six months we got some serious shrinkage um, it does stretch out when I do braid outs or curl it um, but this is I think we're gonna get length from here cuz shrinkage was real we only got shorter in six months there was no length realized <laughs> it's all good though but um I am just so loose and free listen I have butter butterfly distress locks <laughs> and I'm okay with it all right, and last but not least, y'all see I love my updos. I love my half up, half down. Um, I'll start wearing my hair down once I get some length, which I anticipate over the next six months. When we go back and compare, you guys will, will begin to see the length. But yeah, here it is, six months DIY micro lock journey, loving the journey, having fun. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. We serve God around these parts. Uh, Alpha and Omega, he be finished before we start. Uh, the great I am the one who let us know who we are. Uh, Christ the cardiologist created me a clean.